us back. I hope your new year is off and running smoothly. Tonight's video, we'll, I want to show you a few acquisitions um, that I've made recently. But I would also like to dedicate this video to my pal, my fellow Cleveland Indians pal, Hoss of Hoss of Cards. If you saw Hoss's message recently, he's been away for a little while, just dealing with life. And so Hoss, I just wanted you to know, I'm thinking about you and keeping you all in my thoughts and prayers. So hopefully this will be a little video to bring some joy to you this evening. Okay, so most of you know that I'm a huge Larry Doby fan. So what you see before you is a series of uh, 51 Bowman cards of various Cleveland Indians, all of whom um, were part of the World Series team. But tonight, what I want to talk about is the team issue photo that you see before you. I bought this recently at auction. It has not been um, authenticated or anything. It appears to be vintage, but not in a great shape. But you'll see in a little bit why exactly why I wanted this photo. And I'm not so much, I didn't pay that much for it, not that that matters. But I wanted it because of what it represented. Now, I'm sure you all recognize this picture because Larry Doby uh, is represented from this picture in both his 50 and his 51 Bowman cards, which that really excited me. So it's like, okay, well, here's the photo or replica of the photo that those cards came from. But this photo is also significant to me because it features Larry Doby playing in um, Municipal Stadium in Cleveland. And I actually went to a few games as a child in Cleveland with my dad and my Uncle Bill and my dad's friend, Dan. And I also had a, an uncle, Uncle Pete, who went to every game religiously. I didn't know Uncle Pete too well. But I'm guessing he's somewhere in the stands. Maybe here. Maybe up here. Maybe he's ordering some peanuts or popcorn from that guy. But I just love this photo of what it signifies uh, to my family history. And I wanted to share it with you all. Okay. So in connection with that photo, um, one more we'll ad. This is a little tr antique treasure box I bought for myself. And I bought it because, I don't know, I just think about kids in the 50s they didn't have any really fancy notebooks to put their cards in or sleeves. They just stuck them away. And maybe their dad or grandpa had an old cigar box that they could store their cards in. So I picked this up recently in an antique store. I store various photos and postcards in here, vintage postcards. But I'd like to open up and share with you a couple items tonight. One is... <laughs> I recently uncovered this photo of my dad. Uh, no, he's not in jail. Although he was a jokester, so I guess he's pretending he was in jail. But where he and my mom lived right after they got married in 51, ironically, since we're talking about 51, um, they had some kind of gated entry into the dormitory. So that's my papa. <laughs> who loved the Cleveland Indians. So, I had already acquired this 51 Larry Bowman, oh, probably the last year, year and a half. And as you see, 
it appears to be taken from this very photo. So when I saw, that's why I got the photo. I was like, wow, oh my gosh. It's the scene, seems to be. Even like you can see the windows in the background. Can you see that? My lighting is not that good. There's the popcorn and peanuts guy there, just like in the photo. So that's the 51 Bowman. Then, this is more recent acquisition. Now, why did I get this card? I'll make sure it's in focus. And it's not graded. Why on earth would I do something like that? Maybe it's been trimmed. Pretty sure it's an authentic card. Why would I do this? Well, before I tell you why, let me read the back of the card for you. So it says, uh, Larry Doby, born in Camden, South Carolina, December 13, 1924. He bats left and throws right. Larry batted 280 in 147 games in 1949. He knocked in 85 runs, played in 121 games for the 19. 48 World Champion Indians, hitting 301 and batting in 66 runs, including 23 doubles, 3 triples, and 2 homers. Larry's good at fielding as well as hitting. He is one of the few Negroes, which is the term they used back then, we will say African Americans, in the American League, and is one of the best players. And this is card 39 in the 1950 Bowman series. So, besides just loving the 50 and 51 Bowman sets, uh, one of the reasons I wanted this card was I wanted to be able to actually hold a card in my hand that some person, probably a child, collected. This thing looks pretty beat up. Lots of creases, bent corners, but I wanted to be able to just touch the card. And it always makes me wonder, who had the card? Why is it in relatively good shape? Why did it survive all these years? So that's why I bought this raw card. And I, I probably shouldn't even be holding it with my bare hands but I just wanted to hold the card as if it was a card I shared with my dad and I kept this card in the little cigar box that maybe my Uncle Pete gave to me. It's a story, but it's fun to imagine these things. So, just put my dad and Larry in the cigar box off to the side. Try not to drag and make a lot of noise here. To close the video tonight, I would like to read a little excerpt from this book, Our Team, the epic story of four men in the World Series that changed baseball by Luke Eplin. This was recommended to me um, by Scott of Reindeer Studios. So thank you, Scott. I, he told me he loved the book and so did I. But what I'd like to read to you is a little excerpt about Municipal Stadium. And the owner of the Indians in the 40s and 50s was Bill Beck. And he was Real, he had a, a genuine personality. He just loved baseball and he wanted everyone else to love baseball and to to come out and have a good time. So he, you know, he actually had fireworks and he had um, a three ring circus going on. He had bands playing. And so, you know, he was a, a man ahead of his time. But I want to read this one paragraph from the book, 
from page 217. It uh, is about the 1948 season, and I think this photo is uh, 1949 team issued, but perhaps it was taken in 48. I, I tried to research it to find out for sure, but I didn't have any luck. So if anybody knows, please let me know. So here we go from the book. And this is uncharacteristic about Bob Feller, uh, who was pitching. Feller's losing streak, which began the day the Indians had attempted to set the single game attendance record, was snapped the afternoon they succeeded in doing so. On June 20th, during a Father's Day doubleheader against the Philadelphia Athletics, 82,781 boisterous fans sprawled in the aisles, perched on ledges, clustered on concrete runways, and crowded be behind the outfield fence at Municipal Stadium. At one point, Bill Vec hobbled on crutches from the press box to the field level to announce the record personally into the public address microphone. Round after round of applause trailed the bareheaded owner through the stands. Feller nearly spoiled the mood, falling behind 3-0 through five innings. But the Indians rallied with four runs in the seventh, punctuated by a go-ahead RBI single from Larry Doby. So I've kind of attached that story to that photo for myself. Consider it creative writing. And, you know, Again, maybe my dad was at this game. Not for sure. But it's just nice to think about those things. Okay. Again, thinking about you, Haas. Thinking about all of you. Good luck to all of the Hall of Fame nominees. And Mayor. Dream come, come to you today.